Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a couple simple ways that you can use a headband to accessorize your look for the summer. Um, you are going to need a headband. I have a couple that I'm going to use here. Um, this one here is a head wrap. Um, we'll do this one first. I think that these are kind of tricky because they expand to such a large size so it makes it kind of hard to figure out exactly how much you want to stretch it out when you put it on. So um, I'm going to kind of roll the ends in here um, on both sides and I'm making sure that there's the tag that's on here that's going to stay in the inside um, before we put this on. And this one's going to go on from the top kind of kind of like a turban and the seam here we'll just make sure that that goes to the back. I like a center part for this look and I kind of like to make sure that my hair is off of my face a little bit. So this one is definitely going to sit on your forehead. Uh, somewhat but not not like all the way down to your eyebrows and then I like to kind of just slide this down in the back a little bit and that's what's gonna make it kind of stay on the head not everyone's comfortable wearing this look sometimes people say that it looks like you're in a workout class I don't know I think it's kind of fun however it is not going to be um, your look for being out and about on a really hot day because while I think you know I like it if it matches an outfit but it's just it's not something that keeps you warmer or it's not something that keeps you cooler at all it keeps you warmer actually so um, there's that one and then the next one that I have is going to be um, this pattern one that has some embellishment on it this one's really easy to work with because it has elastic at the back of it um, this is one of my favorites. This is from Urban Outfitters. Um, it was from last year, but they always have they always have things kind of like this. So you're gonna kind of just put it on over your head first, like a necklace, and get all of your hair out of the way. Um, when I do this, I like to do a side part so that I can still have some hair across my forehead and not just just the band there. So kind of do that. Um, and then tuck it behind the ear as well. And a drastic side part is even better. So now that we have that, then this can get pulled over. So get the elastics here behind the ears. Okay, so this is kind of what you wanna see right now. Um, you want this hair to be in front. I'm gonna kind of just push that forward a little bit. Um, my approach with this is to kind of have it a messy sort of look. So there's that. Sometimes I'll pull out like some pieces right in front of the in front of the ears, in front of the band here, and kind of leave leave that forward. So that's a great way to wear it down. And then last but not least, um, you can also pull your hair into a twist with this kind of a headband. Um, that's great because you get to wear the accessory and it can be perfect for days when it's like 90 degrees and above. Um, all you're gonna need is, in addition to the headband, some bobby pins. So I like to just kind of make sure that all of this hair is kind of going straight back because that'll make it easier for us to kind of adjust the look at the end. Um, also, I mean, you could, you could do this you could just kind of band it into a ponytail. That's great too. Um, but I'm going to just grab the hair kind of at the nape and just kind of twist it as we go up. So as you can see, this is going to be a really, just kind of like a really messy, imperfect twist. So as I do that, I'm going to start putting some bobby pins in. Okay, and then with the hair that's left over on the top, I kind of, I like to just kind of bring that back around. Okay, and 
this point too, I like to just kind of mess up a little bit at the crown here, kind of stretch out little pieces in the back. All right, and there you have it.